Welcome back, Centurions. This is Act 1 of Expeditions Rome. We are playing on insane difficulty and have been casually handed an update to our quest line to conquer all of Asia Minor. Landing here on the mainland, our quests have been added and somewhat diversified. So there was a mole that led the Legion into an ambush by the Greeks, gave away our position to the Greeks. We can track him down to try and execute him. And then we have the lead divide and conquer. So the Greek resistance here in Asia Minor is led by local support. And so we want to be able to divide the local politics against the uh, the invading Greek army. And then we have our main quest line, the conquest of Asia Minor. So right now we are looking for a suitable place to be able to land our legion. An abduction. The sound of hooves pounding the earth attracts your attention. One group of angry looking Greeks clad in civilian garb are following another group who seem to have a woman tied to the back of their one of their horses. It looks like an abduction. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Block the path of those who are chasing them. We shall help the abductors make their escape. You there, release that girl at once. That's an order or this doesn't concern us. I mean, this is too funny not to try and intervene. <laughs> you there, release the girl. The abductors glance at you and your warriors. For a moment, they're clearly trying to estimate whether they might survive a skirmish with you. The odds must have seemed unfavorable because instead of attacking you, the young man leading the group approaches you. Before he has time to explain himself, however, the man leading the chasing group interrupts. This man abducted my daughter. We want justice. Of course I abducted her. It is tradition. This old bastard's trying to sell his daughter. It's ridiculous. I don't have that kind of money. Well, then you are not fit to marry my daughter. You can't even pay the bride price. What will you do for a living? Abduct other people for ransom? Okay, okay. So now we can attack the kidnappers, attack the pursuers, or we pay for the dowry. I don't... We're not paying for anybody's wedding. Murderous Romans! This is the last mistake you'll ever make. You should not have interfered in our family matters. I may not like her father, but that doesn't give you the right to attack him. You will regret this. I'm out of here. Help! Guards! Anybody! Amazing. <laughs> the squabble over the wedding has turned into combat, where we have to eliminate all the enemies. We're going to pretend in the head cannon that we use non-lethal measures here. Now that we have fairly and justly mediated this local conflict, uh, let's see what these guys had in their pockets. Still on the lookout for a suitable base. I'm interested in how many pieces of the map, like, we have these that are clearly open for interactions. We have a neutral tannery, we have a neutral hunting grounds. The standard is glowing, but it, hovering over it doesn't give me any tooltip right now. I thought that this, I guess it's just kind of the dispersed countryside. There's a wagon over here. Is that going to be full of materials? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so that did have just random materials there. Let's go over to the uh, the Legion banner. And then this little quest marker here. You've located a good place for the Legion to place their outpost. Click on it now to order Legio Vitrix to move in to uh, Mysia and capture the region, just like when you took over the uh, Mytilene region on Lesbos. Okay, so we have our Legion mission here. We have the enemy outpost over here. And then we've got uh, some other interesting locations. Hunting grounds, the tannery, like I was saying. Let's go ahead and move them in. We need to pacify the six sectors of Asia Minor to be able to mark our conquest. Right now, three of them have been pacified, but three of them are up in open rebellion. And right now we are not able to establish our camp because this current sector is not pacified. It looks like we are going to have to attack the enemy here to be able to make it. So let's attack their outpost and then we will be able to establish our own base. Where are our men coming from? Are they setting off from Lesbos? Yes, they are. There they go. They come across by boat and man, they move so quickly. Ligio Vitrix attacks Pontic army in the Mysia region. Let's resolve the battle, figure out who we want to be our new commander. Let's go over here to Marius with his skill. He is going to help limit our casualties, and we are almost down to half strength as a legion, which is a little daunting. How do you wish to deploy? And then we want to be able to begin by probably putting up a weak center. Enemy defense minus 30%, but enemy aggression up by 10%. Or we could just extend the line and be able to be a little bit more defensive. Okay. 
to engage. Incredible. That opening went entirely in our favor. I don't think we've lost a single guy. Throw Pila. Legion's manipuls is breaking if action isn't taken immediately. Your entire formation may crumble. Stand firm, man. Gain morale. Hold your ground. We can recover this flank. We have won a grand victory. We are going to show mercy here, be able to pick up our manpower at a loss of a little bit of morale. Your legion has captured its first region of Asia Minor, but Myasia hasn't been pacified yet. As soon as your legion leaves, the enemy will take it over once more. In order to secure a permanent hold in the region, you'll have to carry out a special pacification mission. Open the quest log and track the pacification rural village quest to begin. We need to set out to the pacify mission here at the beach village to be able to get this sector under our control and really establish a foothold for our legion. We have this observatory right up here. We're going to head up and then we are able to clear some of the fog of war around the area. So we see as far as the next observatory. Unfortunately, it went uh, north rather than being able to see, I guess, there's mountains over there. But it also reveals these little loot caches in the area that we wouldn't have been able to find otherwise. So we will grab those up. Hmm, should we go to the temple? Upon a tall mountain peak stands the grand temple devoted to the Greek god of healing, knowledge, music, and arts. The temple is of utmost cultural importance to the region of Mysia. The Temple of Apollon. Oh my goodness, there's so much to explore around here. Okay, the temple ended up being an enormous detour into the local politics, which we don't have a foothold in the region, so it's not super um applicable to us right now there's just so much to explore here but we did pull a uh, unique legendary bow out of this hole in the ground so that was kind of nice and we uh we kept part of the temple from burning down over here so we got the uh the water pot consumable item ah amazing for the pacify mission they change up the party that you bring in so you have one of your companions lead a group of the generics that you can recruit they told me that i had to recruit three of them so i did back in camp and i didn't recruit any extras and then along the way we got into a scuffle with a bunch of slave traders who gave all us here a severe head injury so he can now not help in the pacify mission. It would take 114 hours for Cineros to be able to see to him here in the field, so it looks like we are heading all the way back to camp. <laughs> uh, we're back, we're healthy, we are resupplied, fully reinforced with all of these companions, and now we have to pick who is going to be our fist, who is going to represent us and uh, lead this mission out of our party members. Julia is probably the one who does the most damage as the archer. Bestia is still recovering from another injury that he picked up. Um, I do really like Kaiso, but also Cineros as a designated support piece. I feel like his presence in the party might be missed the hardest. And I also found a random location that gave him a legendary staff and I want to see huh, how it works. Uh, yes, Cineros's giant staff, now it matches perfectly with his goofy little hat. This battle looks kind of crazy. If we turn on the spotter here, we see enemies all over the place. We have to reach the captive legionary to release them, so these legionary have been captured by the villagers. Once we get to them, uh, we'll be able to rescue them, and we have to have at least four survive. So I'm not sure if the trick is that as we release them, um, they join us, and then we can take casualties over the course of the battle but or if it's that they start actually killing the prisoners if we get close and they get desperate so we'll see if we have to move very quickly or if it is a matter of using our support abilities to be able to keep everybody alive i think my game plan here is we're going to focus on clearing out this corner we get all the high ground and then we'll be able to use the archer hopefully to our advantage fire down on the other enemies if they want to swarm us sometimes the enemies just choose to kind of hold their positions play very defensively we'll see what the AI wants to prioritize in this battle. 
come up the stairs here, be able to use Piercing Thrust. That cuts through the shield and any excess damage will actually do health damage, which usually shields are able to protect you from. Ah, uh, Cinderos. Okay, what do we want to use you for? If you come on he up here to mark the paw, and let's see how this staff works. So we've got Broad Swing that has a very large area of effect. Then we've got the Heavy Blow and Reach, which are common to the staffs. Um, they all do the same amount of damage. Here we go, just heavy swing him. Eight damage. Pretty respectable. If we bring up the archer, because he's a pawn, so weakening him is good, and then we'll be able to carry that over into an attack against another enemy. So we'll use crippling shot here, be able to drop him, and then we'll use fire arrow across here. This guy is the heavy. I want to be able to get... Oh, he resisted the burning. Okay. This other heavy we'll use to mark. Oh, we can't mark him. He uh, he doesn't take any damage or he doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Then I think we use the light infantry. We just rush him up here to the top and see what we have to do to be able to rescue these guys. Okay, it looks like just uh, moving into their zone will free them automatically. So we've got two allies and do I control them now? No, they are green. Okay, so these are just the allied forces Ooh, keeping them alive. Not looking forward to doing that because these guys just mindlessly run at the closest enemy. But they will be able to help us out here. We have a very uh, clear path of the enemies that we want to dealt with. Then I guess uh, it's a little bit awkward that they move kind of after our turns. We want to be able to see where they go so that we can react and be able to stay in formation with them and keep them around. Yeah, this guy coming right after the archer. Well, I'm glad I have Cineros to be able to do his healing. Okay, we piercing thrust yet again, be able to get through the armor there and then out here. It looks like we probably want to use Reach. That gets one of them. And then this. Yeah, he has to back up to be able to make that attack. But we're able to clear out two of those enemies. Cineros can come up and do his healing trick. Soothe the pain. Help me, and I shall vanquish our enemies. All right, then he can come it's down right. and help Mark. You're going well, to live. He's not really marking the enemy if he doesn't. this guy doesn't take opportunity attacks. But he's still... Blocking it up, getting in the way. We can go to Committed Blockade. Making sure that he blocks whatever is in front of him. Then we want to come down and wear out this enemy. So we'll use Precise Stab. Can't be blocked or resisted. And then use Slash. Oh no, I was glancing. Then the Archer is kind of screwed. Though, oh, he does have... Okay, he has... Oh, he has point blank. 100% critical chance for ranged attacks against adjacent characters. But if I make a ranged attack, yeah, he'll get an attack of opportunity against me. And I believe that happens first. He also has versatility here, so... Oh, great. He doesn't have a sword. Or any melee attack. He can't punch. Throw something would also... Yeah, okay. I think he just passes. No, that one died? As as I see them, we already I lost shoot. an ally? And he's just dead. He's not down. I can't pick him up. They straight up die. Okay. We have to be much more careful with our allies. I don't really feel like I could have done anything differently there, though. Because once he gets on the front line, I can't move him out of the way. Soothe the pain over here. Come to my Keep the heavy up. Mules. Um, Please he can my come finger. down and be able to yes, use be all right. through. Yeah, we get a little bit of damage there. Then we can bring the other heavy up. Slash. That is deflected. Mark the strike. Take full damage from an archer's attack. There we go. Eight damage. Pretty good. But I don't think I have any way to actually be able to finish him now. We'll bring the uh, 
the light infantry around. He can hop down this wall, I believe. Oh, he can hop down this one. Okay, so we'll move him over here. He can come around and flank with... Hmm, these guys form a pretty good wall. And then Sinaros lending support to whoever gets injured. The archer firing over as well. I don't know what this guy's going to try and do. I swear, if he tries to run off this way and get himself killed, I am going to be so mad. Okay, good. Yeah, he chose to dodge. Keep yourself safe, my buddy. And he's staying with us. That is, that is very good. Move forth, my friends. I'll cover you. Okay, I thought for sure this Velez was going the way of his other friend. Uh, but he came through here, he picked up deflection, and then he dodged the other attack. So, I guess he really knew what's up. We'll use backstab right here. Knock her down. This panics the other enemy. Excellent. Okay, I am going to assume that the Velez is going to run off this direction towards the enemies. Um, but I suppose he also has this path to be able to get to these guys. And with the amount of movement he could get sprinting, I don't know which way he's going to go. So we're going to be non-committal and just wait and see. Stay in cover. Oh, wait just going to stay and wait as well. Slow and stay, stay here. They must fight on us. As soon as I see them, I shoot. Hang on, friends. And now we're they're getting reinforcements. You. Oh, dear. Okay, the wait and see what the ally does trick does nothing for us. This game is, seems just to be trying to embarrass me at this point. We'll take this shot from the high ground against the pawn, crippling strike. Um, try and stir up that nest of bees. And then we can put a heavy, we can put a heavy right down here. Ooh, dropping him over. Oh good, there's a ladder? Yeah, there's a ladder, so we've got access. He's not, he's not totally cut off now. And then the enemy just picked up reinforcements on this side, meaning that is the dangerous side. I still don't want to completely abandon this guy. Probably run the light infantry across because he has so much mobility compared to the other characters. And then maybe, yeah, we'll take the pole arm as a well because he can synergize so well, being able to strike from the, the second rank. But we'll keep Cineros and one heavy with this guy so that he's not off on his lonesome. All right. Okay, so he wants to go this way. Sure. We are well protected here. Be ready. Let's run down and rescue these prisoners. I could... Could move over here. The enemy is in cover. I don't know if we can make this attack. Let us see. For science. <laughs> if only I had the hamstring strike that would then lock him in place. We'll do the marking strike here. Yeah, okay, so he does reach, That'll even though he's you. around cover. That's nice. Then we could drop in to here to pseudo mark him, be able to add a little bit extra support. These guys are up now. They should be able to come around back and finish him off. Our archer spent his attack, but still has his movement. With these enemies moving in from this direction, I feel like I want to be able to bring him back up here. Hold the heavy around cover. And Cineros in cover as well. He can take this opportunity Fine. to heal the archer who got hurt on, um, I believe, like the first or second turn no here. Keep everybody nice and happy. Cover your angles. They will not take this guy doesn't know which way he wants to go. Okay, I'm glad that I did not abandon this portion of the map. Ooh, they got reinforcements. Uh, only, w wow. <laughs> Reinforcements as in one guy came in to help him out. Amazing. So we will go up, use the precise stab. It's just a pawn. We can handle the pawn. And then we also want to push around the guards from this portion, move to other parts of the map. So that means we can roll in, be able to start building up the, the size and momentum of our band here. Yeah, we probably keep him running along the beachfront as well. I don't know where this ally is going to want to go. Hopefully this pawn comes over to help stab that guy. Here we move up with the heavy. His slash will be able to hurt both enemies at once. 
the archer can come along and then he gets it opportunities to hit both we'll hit the pawn first there we go we got him ow i shouldn't have done that because i don't have a second attack to be able to use then we will come over switch back to the staff use the reach get a little bit of extra damage here now Cinero's take cover we know they have an archer who's doing long bomb attacks Ooh, it looks like that archer was saving his fire arrows for when we got a little closer. Okay. This is going to make us work for it all the way. Um, I want to be able to get this guy. What is in your offhand? Hey, we got aid. Excellent. So we can come around, be able to apply aid. So we remove the burning. Let us crush there we go. Together. Put your friend out. Basic Roman Roman soldier training 101. How to put your comrade out if he is on fire. Hmm, it looks like these villagers' plan of capturing the legionaries has fully backfired, and now the legionaries are taking their revenge. The one archer is the last to fall, and then we also have a one more captive to be able to rescue. Oh, look at that, help, we got a please. medic helping the medic. It's perfect, the synergy. Yeah, sure, just stab the guy on the ground. I don't think he was getting up anytime soon, but just to make sure. Uh, that'll teach you to keep your shield up next time. So we need to be able to eliminate all the enemies to win and save the other legionnaires. So we'll come up, rescue this guy, and now this marks the, uh, the archer. Put a little bit of damage. End things with a crit. Here we go. Come around. Precise stab. And the victory is ours. We have now pacified this region of Asia Minor by completing that quest and also asserted a dominance by claiming the quarry, tannery, and lumber mill. We next want to be able to claim the farm, but we need to build up our... Um, contingent of slaves to be able to work the farm to be able to make that manageable. So now it is time to see what kind of upgrades we can apply to our Legion camp. Legate, we have the- Our way, Legate. Orestes tells me the Legion has recently captured some strategic resources in the region. Shall we make some upgrades Let's to get our started. camp? Ah, okay, so I've already seen this chart. These are the buildings that we already have constructed and then the lighter color ones are available for us to build. Unfortunately, we can't go for the armory yet. We have a quarry, not an iron mine, but we will be able to get the um, tent here that will increase or it will replenish our consumable items. So we're going to go ahead and build that. And then what does it take to be the bath? We need a farm to create the bath. And then we need lumber mill to be able to make palisades. To be able to use the Speculator Tent, we do have to assign one of our party members to go and work over there. Now, some of them have little bonuses, like here, this free loader. Someone who is skilled in the art of procuring items will increase the number of free tactical item replenishments by one when assigned to your tent. So I believe putting them over here would be able to give us more refreshes. Okay, so we go here and you are able to spend materials to get replenishes or if you assign somebody, then you can get free replenishments where they just create, they create the, the repaired items out of, out of thin air, I guess. We have intercepted word that the enemy is planning on launching a counterattack, trying to drive us out of our foothold in the region. That's marked by this red crossed swords and then the red crossed swords up here is the attack on Mysia. We have dug in. We are prepared to repulse the invaders by any means necessary, but that is going to have to wait for the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment on how you think we should go about conquering the rest of Asia Minor. And subscribe if you want to be able to see when the next episode comes out. Until then, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.